Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. In a previous video, I was talking about the hatch command where I first talked about creating it and then using the scale with it so that way we can show it properly. Uh, and I also showed like the different hatch patterns that are available in AutoCAD. Okay, and in this video, I'll continue talking about it and I'll talk about specifically having the hatch fill in multiple areas or multiple geometries, okay? So I'm gonna start the hatch command by clicking on this icon. And then from here, I'm gonna choose this pattern. And then the scale, I'm just gonna choose the scale for the hatch to be 12, that way it's big enough. And then I'm gonna click on this area. And then usually what we do, like when you're doing the hatch, I was showing earlier that after creating it, I would just finish the command by clicking on the thick mark and that will finish the command. Uh, however, there's an option in AutoCAD or basically the hatch command, how it works, you can actually add this pattern to multiple, to multiple geometries and the element, the hatch element will be connected. Meaning, uh, let me show you that actually to show you what I mean. I'll start the hatch command by typing H and then clicking enter. And then I'm gonna choose a different pattern and I'm gonna keep the scale as is. And let's say I'm gonna click on this triangle here this blue and this one this square right here and i'm gonna click uh enter to finish the hatch uh, creation or i'm gonna click on the thick green tick mark and that will finish it All right now i'm gonna select this hatch i'm gonna click on it and you see this hatch is filling this boundary over here All right and i'm gonna click escape to deselect it uh, and then i'm gonna click on this one right here and you will see that this hatch is filling three geometries when I delete, when I select any of them, it will select the whole thing. It's one connected hatch filling different areas of the drawing or the project. And when you delete this, it will delete it everywhere. So you want to be mindful when you're doing the hatch. Uh, sometimes you want to create a single hatch for multiple areas. And some other times you will want to do just hatch like per area. Like this one, for example, here is only filling this square over here. Right, and I'm gonna click on undo to bring them back. So uh, depending on the situation, you might wanna do a hatch per object or you wanna do, you wanna fill in the hatch in multiple areas. 